everybody i'm nick Catelli. it is november 22nd the day before turkey day and we're gonna have a very special podcast because we're talking about turkey day and we're talking about football because thanksgiving and football that's the thing now right like like if you ask a kid in like 20 years what's special about thanksgiving they're gonna be like ah the nfl i like that the nfl is slowly kind of like well let's we have that old pilgrim indian thing we're kind of getting rid of that now Thanksgiving is all about getting fat, getting drunk, and watching football. There was a pilgrim Indian thing, but eh, mm, I, so I, I, I kind of like how the NFL is like, eh, we're not, eh, we're not really doing that anymore. I feel like in like twenty years in grade school, you're gonna see this thing where they're like, oh yeah, and Thanksgiving was founded when the NFL was like, we need a day where we know that people are gonna be fat and lazy and sleepy and can watch football for hours, and that's when Thanksgiving was created. So you're probably going to see that in the American school system probably in like 20 years. I see that after they've already said that like all the other stuff has been deemed illegal. This is probably the one legal thing they can talk about is how like Thanksgiving was founded by the NFL. Because in reality, like if you didn't really know history, <clears throat> I, I'd be like, no, I, th I think the NFL, you know, founded Thanksgiving, which is a genius idea. Just eat a bunch of food and watch football. It's fantastic. I love it. Let's talk about the games coming up on Thanksgiving Day. We got Packers and Lions, obviously, in Detroit at the Lions Stadium. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know the Lions have been doing really, really good this year. So this is a big platform tomorrow where they could obviously look terrible and get humiliated by the Packers. Now, here's the reason. Here's why I think the Lions are going to win tomorrow, okay? Well, and here also, here's my reason why I think they're going to lose. Number one, they're going to lose if they wear those stupid uniforms. They always wear those weird doll uniforms on Thanksgiving where it's like the weird brown pants and like the basic blue jersey. Like they're trying to look like the players from like the 1930s. And every time I watch that game in that uniform, I'm like, you guys, you've already lost the looks, right? Like you don't <clears throat> look intimidating, right? You got to have an intimidating NFL uniform, you know, don't wear those uniforms. You, you know, the Detroit Lions, you're hot right now. You're hot. Stay in the same uniforms you're playing in. Yes, I'm a very superstitious sports person. So I'm just telling you, Detroit, right now, if you watch my podcast, which you probably don't, stick to the uniforms that you have been winning and do not wear those weird, bland, 1930 looking turkey day uniforms that you always wear because if you do wear those you are going to lose let green bay wear because i think green bay wears those things let them do it let them look like idiots let them lose let them lose okay detroit i'm pulling for you tomorrow i'm pulling for it. i want to see detroit win i want to see detroit win like i'd love to see detroit go to the super bowl are my rams gonna be going to the super bowl no but we won it two years ago but detroit like i want this for you i want this and i want to think that detroit if they make it to the super bowl i want to think that they want it i don't want it to be like that the nfl had like a secret meeting in a back room like in the in the movie rudy and all the other nfl teams walked in like hey coach I want Detroit to win the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, we're like they're all turning their jerseys in. I want to think that that doesn't happen, but I know that a lot of people try to say that the NFL is scripted, which I don't believe it is. I don't believe that for one bit. I think it's just football. It's football, and it's awesome. So Detroit, I'm picking the Lions over the Packers. If the Lions wear the uniforms they've been winning in this season, Lions beat the Packers by a score. I'm going to say 63-10. to 10. Yeah, Lions 63, Green Bay 10. I'm calling it. That's what it's going to be. Now, <clears throat> if the Lions wear those weird Thanksgiving Day uniforms with the weird brown pants and the terrible bl bland jersey, then I'm thinking it's probably going to be Green Bay 27 and the Lions negative two. That's what I think the score is going to be. So I call it. I don't know how that's going to affect your betting, but whatever. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on to the uh, afternoon game. We got Commanders. We got the Cowboys, Cowboys Commanders. Okay, that sounds like an interesting title. Now, as we all know, Washington has not been doing that good uh, this year. And it's the Cowboys at home in Texas on Thanksgiving Day. Here's the thing, though. Cowboys are getting a little overconfident, getting a little cocky. They're like, it's our big holiday. It's, you know, uh, Thanksgiving in Texas. So they could get humiliated tomorrow by the commanders. That happens a lot, right? That, and we see that a lot in college sports. Like the other team's like, hey, man, we're the number one team in the nation and we're playing, you know, literally a glorified high school. And then that high school comes out and they win. 
So do I think the Cowboys are going to win tomorrow? Maybe. But do I think the commanders are like, we have a shot to embarrass America's team on Thanksgiving, their special day at home? Yeah, I think the commanders are going to come in full swing. So if I was the Cowboys, I would not take this game lightly at all. So I think for the score of this, I think it's going to be Cowboys. Mm, I'm looking at Cowboys 38 Commanders 17. That's what I think the score is going to be tomorrow. Cowboys over the Commanders. Okay, 49ers, Seahawks. <clears throat> All right, two big teams. It's kind of interesting because when I think of like the 49ers and the Seahawks, I don't really think of like Thanksgiving. Like in Detroit and Cowboys, like I definitely think Thanksgiving, but like 49ers and Seahawks, mm, I, I just don't. I just don't think of them as like Thanksgiving Day. NFL football teams. Now, the one thing that the 49ers have going for them is that the government did just spend a whole bunch of money just to like completely clean up their city. So the stadium should be looking nice or the streets should be looking nice. So, you know, things are looking pretty clean right now. Uh, so 49ers, I'm going to say 49ers over the Seahawks. I'm going to say the score there is going to be 49ers. I'm going 17 Seahawks 10. I think it's going to be really close. Just, you know, one touchdown touchdown. That's it. Now, we got something going on new this year, which I don't know if we did. If we did this last year, definitely post in the comments and let me know because I, I think this is the first time we, we are doing a Black Friday game, uh, which I, I've never heard of that being done. So either I'm an idiot, but I've never heard of the Black Friday game. It's between the Miami Dolphins and the poor Jets. Oh, gosh, the poor New York Jets. I mean, that, who, even that, like, the, the the New York Jets, like, that, that you could write a movie about that. Like, all of the hype and buildup with Aaron Rodgers, and then he is just, I mean, I was, I hate to say this, like, I was like, it took me a second to be like, okay, this is, I mean, the odds of that happening to Aaron Rodgers in the first game is insane. But I'm going to say, because New York Jets, they got a new quarterback coming in. And it's Miami at New York. New York's got a little bit of attitude, but I do like the Dolphins because I did just watch the Ace Ventura movie and the Dolphins were in it. And that's a comedy. And the Miami Dolphins head coach is kind of like a comedian. He's really, really funny. So you know what? I'm picking Dolphins over the Jets. And I'm going to say the score is Miami. I'm going to go Miami 42. And I'm going to say Jets uh, just give up at halftime. That's what I'm going to say. So I'm going to say that they just call it at halftime. Because the Jets are going, I think they're starting a new quarterback. They've just had a, a total quarterback disaster. And I feel bad for the Jets. Because, like, as a defensive person, like, how do you keep your mouth shut when your offense is just constantly going three and out and, like, put, not putting up points and your defense is constantly on the field? A lot of these defensive, like, players, I'm surprised, like, they have not just, like, flipped out or chewed out the quarterback or the offense. I mean, I'm going to say props to defensive, you know, units for for not getting in the face of their offense but I always forget too at the end of, at the end of the day in the NFL I mean they're all getting paid so win or lose they're all still like financial winners I just did a uh Johnny Manziel there uh <clears throat> so yeah I'm gonna say Miami Dolphins over the New York Jets I mean, I think I think it could be a good game. I don't know. I am interested to see this new quarterback uh, for the Jets start. Maybe he could do something. Also, let's not forget, you know, the Jets, you know, they're four and six. They, they still have a better record than a lot of teams in the NFL. So I get that the Jets are doing not the best this year, and there's a lot of hype around the Jets. But if we still think about it, the Jets are still doing really good <laughs> compared to a lot of other NFL teams. So I think the only reason, like, if the, if the whole Aaron Rodgers thing uh wouldn't have happened i don't think there'd be all of this like controversy uh behind the jets but since the aaron Rodgers thing happened the jets are now just like like we're just lasered focused it's just jets 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 uh which i think is their chant but i, I think if they wouldn't have taken aaron Rodgers and they were still four and six i don't think there'd be really any news about them but in reality when you really think about it the jets are still doing better than other NFL teams. I mean, even the Rams, like the Jets and the Rams are like, I mean, basically like the same team right now. But everybody acts like that the Jets are like, haven't won a game. They've won four games. So I don't know. And there's a lot of NFL left, but I'm picking Dolphins over the Jets. Um, is it going to be a close game? Eh, I don't think so. I think the Dolphins are going to run away with it. Um, but you know what? I don't know what the weather's going to be like in New York. Now, if the weather changes tomorrow and it's rainy and dark and cold in New York, okay, I think the Dolphins are going to lose. 
because it's Miami. They used to have sun, brightness. So then if it rains and it's dampy and gloomy in New York tomorrow, I'm seeing Jets over Dolphins 46 to 10. If it's bright and sunny like Miami weather and the Thanksgiving Day Macy's Parade is amazing, then I'm going to say Dolphins over Jets. I'm going to retweak that. I'm going to say it's 63 to 12. So that's my scores there. Also, guys, that is my predictions. If you think I got it wrong or you have a different prediction, put it in the comments, like, share, do all those fun things. Have an amazing, safe turkey day, and I will talk to you guys later. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Nick Catelli, wishing you all the best. Thank you.